All right, Jake. Um, I mean, didn't do a whole lot last week just with how the weather was, but you're going to Grand Valley State this weekend. What What are the expectations for you guys? Yeah, uh, we had a little, little bit of a meet at ACU and uh, kind of uh, got an opportunity to see Arnold Batari kick things off there uh, after a week off or so. So it was good to see them kind of run 150 in the 800 on a cold, windy day. So definitely uh, excited to see them go to Grand Valley this week. Batari will run a 1500. And we'll see if we can get qualified there, or at least run something fast. We don't know if we'll run it at the national meet if he hits a mark. Uh, Arno, we still need to run a little bit faster, so we're hoping to hope to see him run another 149 and uh, just kind of solidify his spot at the national meet. So that's where we're at with the middle distance races going to Grand Valley. Uh, we'd like to see uh, some 5K national marks out of uh, CC Dalla and uh, Ezekiel Kimchurcher. So uh, those are two of the really big pieces we need going down to uh, going up to Grand Valley. Uh, we'd also like to see Flores Washington's uh, uh, go out and run something pretty darn fast as well. She's likely already in the national meet, but we're going to run another 5K and see if maybe we can take a shot at the 16-minute barrier, which would be very, very uh, big for her. So that's the goal. Uh, we got a total of nine athletes heading down there and just look to uh, hopefully put a couple more marks on the national list. What's the thinking about heading pretty much across the country to run a week before conference? Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit, a little bit of a risk. Just uh, you know, you want to be fresh going into conference. But uh, we've got some talented and experienced runners that we're we're taking to Grand Valley, and uh, I I don't doubt that uh, they're going to be more than ready to go uh, seven days later when we come back to run here in Canyon and uh, take care of take care of business the way that we need to make sure that we got a shot to bring home a couple of, a couple of big trophies. So uh, we got an awesome awesome team lining up. Uh, a couple more of those that ran at uh, ACU or. Jamal Wilson and uh, T. Lou, they, they really got after in the 110 hurdles on a cold, windy day. They had a delayed start as well. So uh, for Jamal to run the seventh best time in the country on a 50-degree day, stood around for a delayed start for 30 minutes. So that was great for him. Uh, Madison Thetford ran Texas Tech this past weekend, the 400 hurdles and 100 hurdles, and had her best race of the season. Uh, clipped a hurdle on the last hurdle in the 100 hurdles, and uh, she would have had an outstanding race there if that wasn't for that. So. Hopefully she's gaining some confidence, uh, make this 50 year work thing for her. So uh, we're excited to see her and a couple of those uh, 50 year girls get after the sprints as well. Uh, coming to the conference meet to really get 